back to my channel my name is Tessie and this is my space so it's been a long time no see but I am happy to be back so today's video is about how to attach an elastic band to a wig so this baby was made yesterday can you see how lush this baby is it's actually a used weave and um, a client sent it over and told me to make a wig and uh, I couldn't record while making the wig and I was like you know what let me just make a video um, for people who do not know how to attach an elastic band on a wig and show them how to do it before we go right into the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet guys what are you even doing like seriously what are you waiting for go straight ahead and subscribe to my channel and when you do click the notification bell so whenever I post a video you my darling will be the first to know thank you guys so much for subscribing and for all my oldies my subscribers that has been with me from day one guys I have nothing to say like I'm so overwhelmed thank you so much even when I do not post a video you guys are still there supporting me pushing on thank you guys so much and yes I am back and I hope you like and enjoy this video so let's go right into the video so today I'm going to show you how to attach an elastic band to this baby first you're gonna need a scissors this one right here you're gonna need uh, an elastic band you're going to need needle and you're going to need a thread so I'm gonna be using this one right here also gonna be needing a tape just like this one right here so these are all the things we're going to be needing and don't worry about my foaming lotion and my water bottle that's actually for um the styling okay let's get to work okay so we're gonna take the wig off the mannequin head and get right to work so this wig was actually made using a glue gun and uh, as you can see it's really really good really durable if you're a beginner you might want to consider a glue gun before you start using thread and needle because it's so frustrating like it is so tiring anyways guys so we're just going to go ahead to cut off the excess um wig cap underneath um the closure so the closure can have a neck like a clear view and uh, a perfect lap on the client's hair so once that's cut off uh and this is how it's going to look like if you done it correctly now i'm just going to go ahead to cut off the excess lace in front of the closure so just go ahead and cut it right off and you do not have to cut in a straight line you have to trace where the hair line is and then cut it off this is how it will look once that's done and now that all of that is done we're just going to get to work okay so we have to turn the wig inside out so we can get a clear view of the measurements now the next thing to do is to get your tape and you're just going to start from one from the first um uh, from the side of the closure to the other side of the closure you're just going to measure around and get the size now you're going to divide this 17 into four and use three parts out of it so like one two three four so I'm going to be using 12 I don't know if you understand that so I'm going to be using 12 the reason for not using the whole measurement is because of the fact that you do not want your elastic band to be too loose and you do not want it to be too tight so if it's too loose it's not going to secure the weak tightly on your head and if it's too small it's going to give you a headache so now we're just going to go ahead and measure it on the elastic band and once you've gotten the measurement right you just go ahead and cut it okay so this is what we're going to be using so the next thing is your needle and thread so this is your needle and this is your thread now you're going to go ahead to thread the needle and if you don't know how to do that I'm going to teach you how to thread the needle so you're going to open the thread and you're going to fold it into two just like so all right 
and then you're going to get the needle and then you're just going to pass the thread into the needle hole slightly just like so pull it down and uh make sure that the two lens is the same and once you've gotten the same length you just go ahead and cut it right off once you've cut it off you're just going to go ahead and tight it like make a knot make a knot out of it so it doesn't um go freely through whatever it is you're sewing the next step is to attach your elastic band to your wig now this step is very 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 simple but at the same time very complicated now you should make sure that it's facing downward and turned inside out just like so and not the other way around so that when you finish attaching it to the wig it can go straight to your hair and lap and not you know um feeling bulky on top of your head i don't know if you understand that i am so terrible at explaining so yeah maybe i should stop doing that anyways guys um the, the sorry method that i'm using today is looping so i'm just going to go ahead and loop and uh, as you can see it's the easiest way to sew and i'm doing it twice so as to secure it tightly so i just put it in pull it out put it in pull it out and do it twice just to make sure that it's really really secured when you're done with all of that um sewing you're just going to go ahead and cut it leaving much room to make sure that you'll be able to make a knot so you're just going to grab um as you can see this this is the way it has to go that way so you're just going to grab scissors and cut it off and when you do just make a knot to make sure that it's not going to move anywhere once you've made the knot that's it like literally you're done that's how it should look if you've done it right now you're just going to turn it over and do the other side the same way let's give it one more shot so you place it inside not outside and not flat it has to go around and facing downward so then you start sewing and the sewing method that we're using again is looping it's one of the simplest one it's so easy you won't even know you're you're stressing like seriously so you just loop 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 and make sure that you do it all through to the down and do it all through up and then when you're done you're just going to grab your scissors cut it and make a nut just to secure uh what you've sewn down and once that's done you're just going to go ahead and cut it off and that's it voila you successfully attached an elastic band to your wig okay people so that's how to attach an elastic band onto a wig so now we're just going to go ahead and try the wig so this is it this is the elastic band and when you're putting it make sure that it's point it downward like this and i'm going to explain that while i put it on so if it's like this it's very easy to place it on your head all you have to do is just open it right up and then place your head on it just like this and hey that's it can you see how tight it is it is so 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 Tight, guys this wig is large let's try to do like a side part um, we're just going to go ahead and when you have a coily hair water is your best friend so we're just going to go ahead and, and sprinkle water
Okay, people, so closely, this is the cause. Can you say the way the water, like, activated the cause? Water is magic when it comes to curly hair. Don't joke with it. Do not joke with it. So, water. guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, stay true to yourself. Drink lots of water. And I will definitely see you in my next video. Bye. Where you smile, I can let you go. Got a couple things I wanna let you know. Girl, come close and get comfortable. Girl, I like the way you always take control. Where you smile, I can let you go. Got a couple things I wanna let you know. Girl, come close and get comfortable. Girl, I like the way you always.